What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We're gonna continue this series. Hopefully you guys have caught on and watched a bunch of these videos we've been putting out. If not, we'll put links to them up, up above. But uh, we got some more epic underwater footage for you today. <laughs> um, we got uh, we got a, a pretty big one. Um, well, let's just show it to them. Yeah, let's start rolling. All right, so we're gonna watch this with you guys. And uh, sounds like you guys prefer the voiceover stuff. We were gonna run the series without just the quiet and, and, and see what you guys learned, but uh, by far, you guys prefer the us talking, so we'll do that. We'll continue to do that, and uh, let's go. So, guys, first thing that we should bring up when you watch this, these fish. The first couple videos we put out, they were smaller fish. Now, all of a sudden, things have changed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how big this big one is offhand. Uh, I actually wasn't here this day. Tim shot this footage. This this is banner stuff that he did. But this male is between three and four pounds. So keep that in mind when you're watching this interaction. That that little guy is three or four pounds. And again, we're throwing we're throwing different baits at these. Um, not necessarily trying to catch the fish, but to get as much footage as possible. Um, this is really cool footage. Watching this, you guys will see it. It's almost like the male is not only guarding, you know, the area, but getting in between the big female. He, you'll see continually he he will ram her. He will put his body in front of in front of her to push her back, almost like telling her, "Get back! Mm -hmm. I'm taking care of this. Get back! Calm down." It's pretty interesting to watch. Right? People think that that bed fishing is easy. That these fish are just all revved up and instantly want to bite. And this video, this very clearly goes in stages. It starts out with a fish, a male that is only concerned with keeping his female out of harm's way. And if she starts to get involved like that, he just nips at her, pushes her back, gets her out of the way. Then he starts, and we're there now, where he starts actually interacting with the bait. In the beginning, he didn't even interact with the bait. He just made sure she stayed out of it. Yeah, he was more interested in getting her out of the way than attacking the bait itself. Right. Not actually defending the bed, more defending her. Then he moves to defending the bed, and then you'll see it'll develop from there ultimately to her taking over and kind of losing her mind is where this is all ultimately headed. <laughs> Back that up. <laughs> just, just shoving her backwards. <laughs> Just like every video, guys, down in the video description, we'll put links to the different baits and the and the combos and the rod and reel combos and stuff we used. And mind you, you're looking at big baits. He's throwing a... That's a Huddleston. That sure. was a Huddleston 68 or an 8-inch, that that one. And then they just get bigger. They, this goes all the way up to this this fish just pounding on a 10-inch swim bait, which the, is just yeah, awesome. The, ten, the new 10-inch Huddleston. How cool is that? Just, <laughs> you can tell they're not all fired up. They're not like the spots. These largemouth are, look at, she was going to eat that bait and he just came in completely and rammed her. Now look, he's going to tell her to back up. <laughs> it's so awesome. I can do this. You don't need to come in here. I got this. So what I was saying is, you know, the spots and smallies in these previous videos acted completely different than these, these largemouth. There he is getting in the way of her again. Immediately turns around and like pushes her back. Right. He doesn't care about the bait really. He's he's more worried about her. <laughs> That's because she's a giant. He's got himself a trophy and he knows it. He's gonna do everything he can to keep her around. Oh, back up. See how nonchalant they are? For now. Yeah, for now. This <laughs> this winds up getting some epic bites, slow motion bites right on the lens of the of the GoPro. So 
we actually shot, I shot two different uh, angles and you'll see here in a little bit, um, this one's shot a little high, but you'll see the second angle is lower on the, you'll be able to see the ground and actually see the, the entire area and some of those bites. Now you're starting to see that aggression come in. A male starting to position more, turn on the bed. He's more aware of that bait. Female's beginning to take over. He's nipping at her and pushing on her, and she's powering through anyway. She's beginning to take over, basically deciding that he can't do his job and that she's going to come in and do it for him. You can almost see it. Like, he went to hold her, and she went a little bit farther. He's still going to try a little bit, but here in the next few casts, he kind of gives up, and she... She takes over and is gonna, gonna gonna handle business. He better be careful because she could eat him. <laughs> so cool seeing the light penetration down on the on the fish, seeing the reflection and. Mm -hmm. how to how it looks on the baits and definitely a, a unique perspective there's just so much to take away from this you know people think you you flip in a bed you get them mad they bite it's over and and to some degree that is true and there are fish that are already mad when you throw in there but there's so much going on here i mean you could catch this male anytime right with a right. bait change but if you did that, that female may never come back, right? She wasn't even fired up. Uh, but as time goes on and she gets more and more and more aggressive, you may end up being able to catch this female just by letting this interaction between them play out rather than interfering. You could see he, he's starting to get ticked off. He just hammered that 10-inch HUD really hard. You can see his fin movement starting to pick up. He's speeding up. Ooh, I wasn't a kid. So here you can see that second camera angle that Tim was talking about. Now you're getting that lower perspective in the bed and you can really see these fish interacting with that bait. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause right here. Now what just happened, what you saw right there Tim actually accidentally hooks that male, and it's hooked. He ends up boating that fish. Uh, what I want you guys to realize really quick, because we, we see this all the time, right? Anytime that us or anyone else starts talking about bed fishing or sight fishing, there are those guys that just immediately jump in there and are like, that's so terrible. The second that fish is off that bed, it's never coming back. That bed is unprotected. Bluegills are ravaging it. That fish is freaked out it's never coming back or it's going to be gone for 10 minutes or an hour uh, and i'm sure there are instances where that's true but we want you to watch this clip i'm going to unfreeze this in a second from the moment tim swings on this fish or really he didn't even swing, I didn't on swing. It. I'm by the time the fish the hooks itself he gets it in as quick as he can and you actually hear the release from the time that fish hooks itself to the time he has circled up and repositioned in that bed, 28 seconds Very for, a, for a catch and a release and a reposition. Comes right back, looks right at the camera again, and positions back up. Doesn't even skip a beat. Bed is, nothing comes in that bed. It is not unprotected. Right back. That's important to understand. So here we go. So he just pulled that fish off camera. She stays. There's the female still there. And you actually see another male right there kind of cruising in. But you'll hear the release. And then he'll come cruising right up. Here he comes. <laughs> like it never happened. Like it never happened. Right back to the camera. And it's, it's game on again. Right back to protecting that bed. That's something that I think is just a giant misunderstanding in the bass fishing world. That when one of these fish gets stuck, it's, it's over. That that bed is now destroyed and, and 
the eggs are gone. That's typically not the case. Look at that size comparison. <laughs> what a tank. So things are going to start getting interesting. You can see he, he just turned around and, and put the brakes on her. <laughs> but she's starting to get you know ticked off, and she's going to start engulfing that bait. That's still him. Oh, there she is. There she is. I don't think there's any slowing her down now. <laughs> Let's watch that in slow mo. That's a ten inch swim bait. Just yes. Yeah. That's not a six inch swim bait. Yeah. Yep. That's a ten inch swim bait. Comes right back around. Next cast. You know, it's cool, too. Now that she's losing her mind, he's just out of the way. Right. He's letting her he's, do her thing. Yep. He's he's checked out. She took over. This is her show now. If you guys haven't subscribed, down below, below that arrow, hit that subscribe button. Matt and I really appreciate the support, guys. Whew. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you leave a comment below. Hit that like button if you guys like this sort of video. <laughs> Every cast now. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> Just nip it on the tail. She knows better than to eat it. But she wants that thing out of there. <laughs> it's been fascinating throughout the series, too. Not just with this video, but with this whole underwater series we've been doing. To watch how efficiently... They avoid these... the hook? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. They duck and dodge that hook. It's awesome. These aren't, even when they're angry, these aren't dumb fish. Right. They know to stay away from that hook. Yeah, fast bites, they come and bite right between the stinger and the, and the jig hook. Look at that. She came into the center of that bait, and she, was, she would have been on those hooks, and she just put the brakes on. Right. There's the male. <laughs> 